Hello friends, welcome to lecture series on multivariable calculus. So, in the last lecture we have seen what chain rule is and how can we apply chain rule on multivariable functions. Now, we will see some more properties of chain rule. Now, let us suppose function x y function of two variables be differentiable and the equation f x y equal to 0 defines y implicitly as a function of x then. So, here, uh, here we are taking w as a function of x and y and which is equal to 0. We are assuming that this function is a differentiable function and we can express y implicitly as a function of x. Now, differentiate both sides respect to x. So, what we will obtain? So, it is uh, again d w by uh, d x will be 0 of course. So, this implies now what will be d w by d x from here? Now, f is a function of x and y. Okay. So, we can apply a chain rule here it is del f by del x into d x by d x plus del f by del y into d y by d x equal to 0. Because, because we are having two unknowns x and y here. Okay. We are having two unknowns x and y and we are differentiating respect to x. So, with respect to x we are differentiating. Okay. So, d x d x will cancel out and this is uh, implies or it is 1. So, it is it is del f by del x plus del f by del y into d y by d x is equals to 0 and this implies d y by d x is equals to minus f x upon f y f y should not equal to 0. So, if you want to compute uh, d y by d x directly if f is known. So, simply use simply we can use this expression negative of f x upon f y that is differentiate partial respect to x divided by differentiate f partial respect to y. Okay. So, see some problems based on this. Suppose f is suppose it is x raised to power y plus y raised to power x is equals to alpha okay, where x and y are greater than 0 and alpha is any constant. Okay. Now, we want to compute dy by dx for this uh, equation, we want to compute dy by dx. So, how can we do that? So, we can use this expression basically, we can let f of x y as x raised to power y plus y raised to power x minus alpha equal to 0. Now, we know that d y by d x is nothing but minus of f x upon f y provided f y should not equal to 0 of course. Okay. So, from this expression we can uh, get back to find d y by d x which is negative of. Now, f x f x means differentiate partially with respect to x. So, differentiate this expression partially with respect to x. So, keeping y constant. So, it, we, it, if it will be y x raised to power y minus 1 plus y raised to power x ln y okay, upon because we are treating y as constant. Now, f y we are differentiating this expression partial with respect to y keeping x constant. So, it will be x raised to power y ln x plus x y raised to power x minus 1. So, this will be d y by d x. So, simply using this expression we have solved this problem very easily. We have find out d y by d x very easy using this uh, formula. Okay. Now, the second problem, second problem is x e raised to power y plus it is sin x y plus y minus ln 2 equal to 0. Okay. And you want to compute again d y by d x. So, you can let f of x y as x e raised to power y plus sin x y plus y minus ln 2 equal to 0. 
and dy by dx will be given as negative of fx upon fy which is equal to negative of now partial derivative of this f with respect to x so it is it is e raised to power y plus sin theta is cos theta and theta again that will be with respect to x that is y plus 0 okay upon now f y means partial derivative of this f respect to y so it is x e raised to power y plus cos x y into x okay and plus 1 of course because derivative of this is plus 1 partial derivative of this is plus 1. So, this will be dy by dx which we can compute easily using this result. Okay. Now, now instead of two variables suppose uh, f is a function of three unknowns x, y and z where z is a differentiable function of x and y and at points where f z is not equal to 0 we can easily say that del z by del s is given by this expression and del z by del y is given by this expression. How we can obtain this expression? Now, here uh, f is a function of x y z which is equal to 0. Now, you differentiate partial respect to x. Okay, so, that means uh, you differentiate with respect to x. So, that will be del f by del x into dx by dx plus del f by del y into del y by del x plus del f by del z into del z by del x equal to 0. Okay. You differentiate partial respect to x, uh, you can write d here or del here. Okay. Now, this implies del f by del x this is 1. Now, y and x are independent. Okay. So, del y by del x will be 0. So, this will be 0 plus del f by del z into del z by del x equal to 0 and this implies del z by del x will be minus f x upon f z provided f z is not equal to 0. So, that is how we can obtain del z by del x the first expression here in this ppt. Okay. Now, if you want to compute del z by del y, so similarly you can differentiate here partially with respect to y. So, it will be del f by del y into del y by del x plus del f by okay, uh, you have to differentiate partially with respect to y. So, it is x, it is x and here it is y. Okay. It is del f by del y into del y by del y plus del f by del z into del z by del y because you are differentiating partial respect to y both the sides. Now, again x and y are independent variables. So, this will be 0. So, and this is 1. So, this implies del f by del y plus del f by del z into del z by del y will be 0 and this implies del z by del y will be minus f y upon f z provided f z is not equal to 0. So, that is how we can simply obtain del z by del y. Suppose you have this problem find the value of del z by del x and del z by del y at 1 1 1 for this expression we can obtain these values directly also and we can use these formula also to find out del z by del x or del z by del y in, in this problem. Uh, what is the expression? Expression is equation is x cube plus it is x y plus y z plus y cube minus 2 equal to 0. Say it is f and you want to compute say del z by del x. So, it is negative of just now we have proved that it is minus of f x upon f z, f z should not equal to 0. So, what will be f x? Differentiate this partial respect to x. So, it is 
it is y okay, in the numerator upon with respect to z, it is 3 z square plus y okay. and at 1 1 1 it is at 1 1 1 it is minus 1 by 4 ok. You can you can simplify this directly also differentiate this uh, respect to x partially. So, as z is a function of x and y. So, it is uh, 3 z square into z x plus from here it is uh, y plus from here it is y into z x because y is independent of x and it is equal to 0. So, this implies z x is minus y upon 3 z square plus y the same expression. Okay. Similarly, we can compute del z by del y also at point 1 1 1. Now, come to some more problems based on chain rule. Say w which is a function of x minus y, y minus z, z minus x is differentiable. Then we have to show that f x plus f y plus f z equal to 0, this we have to prove. Okay. So, how can we prove this? So, let u equal to x minus y, v equal to y minus z and w equal to z minus x. So, this w, okay, this is w and this is also w, you make it, uh, you make this as uh, capital W. Okay. So, now this capital W will be f of u v small w. Now, what will be del f by del x? Now, this f is a function of u v and w and u and v w are again function of x y z. So, that will be del f by del u into del u by del x by chain rule del f by del v into del v by del x plus del f by del w into del w by del x and that will be f u into del u by del x from here is 1. So, it is 1 plus del f by del v is del v f v and del v by del x is 0, no x is here plus del f by del w is f w into del w by del x is minus 1. So, it is uh, f u minus f w. Now, similarly, if you want if you compute del f by del y, it is uh, del f by del u into del u by del y plus del f by del v into del v by del y plus del f by del w into del w by del y and which is equals to it is f u into del u by del y is minus 1 plus it is f v del v by del y is 1 del y is 1 plus and del w by del y is 0. So, this is 0. So, this is uh, minus f u plus f v. Now, if we compute del f by del z, it is again del f by del u which is f u into del u by del z which is 0 okay, plus f v into del v by del z which is minus 1 plus f w into del w by del z which is 1. So, it is uh, minus f v plus f w. Now, if you take the sum, if you take f x plus f y plus f z, sum of these 3. So, it is f u minus f w plus it is minus minus f u plus f v and it is minus f v plus f w 
and this we cancel with this, this cancel with this, this cancel with this, which is equal to 0. So, hence we have proved, hence the first uh, question we have solved. Now, the second problem, okay. suppose now the second problem is z is a function of x and y okay, and x is equal to u cos alpha minus it is v sin alpha, y is a function of again u and v, it is u sin alpha plus v cos alpha okay, as given the problem. So, alpha is a constant here, where alpha is a constant. So, x is a basically function of two unknowns u and v and y is again a function of two unknowns u and v. Then we have to show that del f by del u whole square plus del f by del v whole square is equals to del f by del x whole square plus del f by del y whole square. So, let us try to compute this. So, what is del f by del u? It is del f by del x into del x by del u plus del f by del y into del y by del u okay, by the chain rule. So, it is f x into del x by del u is cos alpha plus f y into del y by del u is sin alpha. Now, del f by del v is again f x into del x by del v, del x by del v is minus sin alpha plus f y into del y by del v is cos alpha. Now, if you take f u square plus f u square, this will be equals to a square and add both these equations. So, what we will obtain? This square, this square is f x square cos square alpha plus f y square sin square alpha plus 2 f x f y cos alpha sin alpha plus f x square sin square alpha plus f y square cos square alpha plus. So, it is minus minus 2 f x f y cos alpha sin alpha. So, basically I have square and add both these equations, we obtain this ex expression, these two cancel out. Now, this is when you take f x square common, it is sin square plus cos square which is 1. Again it is when you take these two common, it is cos square alpha plus sin square alpha which is again 1. So, it is equals to f x square plus f y square. So, we have proved this problem, we have proved this uh, equation okay. and the next problem now which is of involving second order partial derivative, let us try to solve this. Show that if uh, w is equals to f of u and v satisfy the Laplace equation f u u plus f v v equal to 0 and if u is given by this and v is given by this, then w also satisfy this expression, I mean Laplace equation. So, let us try to prove this. So, here uh, here w is a function of u and v and it is given to us that f satisfy Laplace equation that is uh, f u u plus f v v equal to 0, it is given. Now, u is a function of x and y which is given as x square minus y square by 2 and v is again is a function of x and y which is x and 2 y. We have to show that w also satisfy Laplace equation with respect to x and y that is to prove we have to prove that w x x plus w y y is equal to 0. So, let us compute uh, del w by del x first it is. So, del w by del x is by the chain rule it is del f by del u into del u by del x plus del f by del v into del v by del x which is equals to f u into del u by del x from here it is x 
plus f u into del v by del x from here it is y. Okay. Now, we have to compute del square w upon del x square which is which is this term. Similarly, we will we can compute uh, del square w upon del y square. Okay. Now, how can we compute this? This is del by del x of w x which is del by del x of w x is x f u plus y f v this expression. Okay. Now, you differentiate here with respect to x partially first as it is derivative of this with respect to x plus second as it is derivative of this plus y is independent of x. So, y is common y comes outside and it is del by del x of f v. Okay. Now, so w x s will be given as now it is now you have to apply chain rule for f u because f u is a function of again x and y f u is a function of u and v and u and v for a function of x and y. So, you have to apply chain rule here it is x into. So, you can break it here it is uh, del by del u of f u into del u by del x del by del u of f u into del u by del x okay. del by del u of f u into del u by del x plus del by del v of f u into del v by del x because both involve function of x plus f u which is this term and plus y times again you have to apply chain rule here it is del by del u of f v into del v by del x plus del by del v of f v into del v by del x. Oh yeah it is del u by del x it is x into now it is f u u now del u by del x from here is again x plus it is f u v into del v by del x from here it is y plus f u plus y into it is f u v del u by del x del u by del x is x plus f v v into del v by del x is y. So, this is this is what we are getting as uh, del square w by del x square which is uh, x square f u u plus y square f v v plus 2 x y f u v plus f u. Now, similarly we can compute del square w by del y square. So, let us try to compute that also. So, first del w by del y it is del f by del u into del u by del y which is minus y plus f v into del v by del y which is x. Now, del square w by del y square which is del y del y of w y which is minus y f u plus x f v which is you apply a product rule here it is minus of first as it is del by del y of f u plus second as it is derivative of first plus x del by del y of f v. Okay. Now, it is minus y times now, you have to apply chain rule, chain rule here again it is del by del u of f u into del u by del y plus del by del v of f u into del v by del y minus f u remain as it is f u plus x times again you apply chain rule here because f u is a function of x and y. Okay. 
So, how can we do that? It is del y del u of f v into del uh, u by del y plus del by del v of f v into del v by del y. Okay. Now, you can simplify it minus y it is f u u del u by del y is minus y plus it is f u v del v by del y is x plus minus f u plus x times it is f u v del u by del y is minus y plus it is f v v and del v by del y is x. Okay. Now, when you add the two terms I mean del square uh, w upon del y square plus w x x when you add both the terms. So, from here you are getting okay, let us simplify this first this will be equal to this will be equal to it is uh, it is x square f v v plus y square f u u plus it is minus 2 x y yeah it is minus 2 x y f u v minus f u. Now, it is w y y okay. Now, when you add these two it is x square plus y square times f u u x square plus y square times f v v this cancel with this and this cancel with this. So, we are having w x x plus w y y as what we are having w x x plus w y y as x square plus y square times f u u plus f v v and this is equal to 0 which is given to us. So, it is 0. So, we have proved. Okay. So, that is how we can apply chain rule for uh, if we are involving second order partial terms partial derivatives. Okay. Now, it is also important to mention in the problem that which variables are dependent and which variables are independent. Because sometimes if it is not given to us. So, answers may be different. For example, suppose you have to solve this problem. Uh, for example, z is a function of uh, uh, w is and uh, z is ok. So, here it is not given that which variables are independent and which variable is dependent and we have to compute del w by del x. Now, since del w by del x is to be computed, so from this expression it is clear that x is an independent variable and w is a dependent variable. Okay. It is clear that from this expression we can easily see that w is a dependent variable and x is an independent variable one thing is clear. For other variables for other variables z and y okay, z and y we are not knowing which variables are dependent and which variables are independent. Okay. Because we can also write y square as z minus x square. So, if you if you uh, make this chart for example, dependent variables and independent variables. From here, from here uh, w is dependent and x is independent it is clear. Okay. Now, we have two possibilities, what are the possibilities? May be possible that y is uh, independent and z is dependent or we may have or we may have z as independent and y as dependent. Because we have one expression in x y and z. So, of course, one variable will be dependent other two are independent definitely. So, so two variables will always be independent 
Okay. So, uh, these are two possibilities which we are having. Suppose we are opt, opt for the first possibility, this is first case, this is second case. Now, for the first case, when we are taking w and z as a dependent variable and x and y as independent variable. So, what we have to compute? We have to compute del w by del x for the first case. So, del w by del x for the first case will be now we differentiate this expression partial respect to x keeping in mind that z is a dependent variable these are the dependent variable and these are independent variable ok. Now, when you differentiate partial respect to x it is 2 x plus now y and x are independent. So, partial derivative of y with respect to x will be 0 plus now z is dependent on x and y. So, it is 2 z into z x ok and from here z x is 2 x. So, it is 2 x plus 2 z into 2 x from here. So, it is uh, 2 x plus 4 x z and z is x square plus y square. So, it is uh, 4 x cube plus 4 x y square plus 2 x. Now, let us compute for a second case. Okay. Now, for a second case for the case 2 del w by del x. Now, for a second case we are taking w and y as dependent variable and x and z as independent variables. Okay. Now, when you differentiate this partial respect to x keeping in my mind that x and z are uh, independent variable others are dependent. So, what we will obtain? It is 2 x plus 2 y into y x because now y is now y is dependent on x and z and uh, deriv partial derivative of z with respect to uh, x will be 0 because x and z are independent variables. So, plus 0. Now, from here how can we compute del z by del y? So, y square is z minus x square. Okay. Always first express a variable in terms of independent variables, then compute partial derivatives. Okay. So, what will be uh, what will be y x? It is 2 y into y x which is minus 2 x. So, y x will be minus x upon y. So, when you substitute y x as minus x upon y here, So, this comes out to be 0. So, values are not same you see that when we take the first case value is del w by del x is this thing and when we take the second case values are this thing value is 0 value are not same. So, in the problem it must be clear that which variable we are treating as a dependent variable and which variable we are treating as an independent variables. Now, for the first case when we are taking x and y as independent variable we have the notation and notation is for this for the first case for the first case notation is del w by del x with y. This notation means we are taking x and y as independent variables and others are dependent variables. Okay. For the second case we take the notation like this del w by del x with z. This means we are taking x and z as dependent variables and other variables as independent variables. Okay. This is a standard notation. Okay. So, based on this we have some problems suppose we have the first problem we want to solve it. First problem says w is equals to x square plus y minus z. Okay, plus sin t where x plus y equal to t. Okay. Suppose you want to solve the first uh, part that is del uh, w by del y with, with x and z. So, so, what does it mean? It means we are taking x, y and z as independent variable and other two variables which are w and t as 
dependent variables. Okay. Now, if you want to compute del w by del y, it is respect to y, and we are taking x and y independent. So, uh, this is 0, this is 1, okay. this is independent, so it is 0, and it is cos t into uh, t y. A t y means del t by del y, because t is a dependent variable, t depends on x, y, and z. So, this is from here del t by del y is 1. So, it is 1 plus cos t. So, that is how we can solve these problems. Suppose, we want to compute uh, del w by del t with uh, x z, fourth part of uh, this problem, okay. del w by del t with x z. This means, we are taking x, t and z as independent variables and w and uh, y as dependent variables. So, how can we find this? With respect to two, you, t, you have to differentiate. So, uh, this is, uh, so you are taking uh, w and uh, w and y as dependent variables and uh, x, z and t as independent variables. Now, when you differentiate with respect to t, so, x and t are independent, so it is 0, y is not independent of t, so it is uh, del y by del t minus, z and t are independent, so it is 0 plus, uh, t, t is of course cos t. Now, how can you compute del t by del y by del t? you first from this expression you write y in terms of independent variables okay then you compute del y by del t which is 1 so it is 1 plus cos t so in the same way we can solve all the parts of this uh, problem and similarly we can solve the next problem which is del w by del y with x that means we are treating x and y as independent and all the variables as dependent variables and similarly for the second part of the same problem. So, thank you very much.